terrific stuff. <laughs> no, there are some stunning looking women in here this evening and some right dogs. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> I'm joking. No one in here is stunning. Please welcome Jimmy Carr. <laughs> Who, who, who chose that clip <laughs> when I was on Loose Women? It couldn't, it couldn't be any more perfect, I that's, love it. That's the only one. It's the only one we could use. The rest of it's too filthy. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. <laughs> it feels like being told off by my mum's friend. <laughs> <laughs> really that sorry, I've learned from long time. OK. <laughs> all right, Carol is. <laughs> yeah, right, I'm not as old as her. Right, two years. Yeah. Dancing you, on ice. I know, what do you think? It's going to be like one of those commercials you see for, you know, had an accident at work, I would imagine. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's interesting. I think, and think? I think ITV are great, because I think they'll probably do, on ITV2, <laughs> they'll probably follow you through the hip replacement. <laughs> and, we'll get, and we'll get to see how you... What? <laughs> <laughs> you think that's funny? <laughs> He's a brave Actually, man, that is isn't quite it? a good idea for a documentary, isn't it, afterwards? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Why it's got legs. It's got legs. <laughs> Why do you, oh, don't do jokes like that with Jimmy here. No, I liked it. Uh, it's adorable. What do you right. think about Vince Cable? What, going and... Going and mm. Yeah, dancing. It seems like an odd thing. I mean, I like the idea of politicians, because um, they don't rule over us, they, they represent us, and I like the idea of them being normal and wanting to go and do something like that. I think it's only a couple of afternoons out of his time, so I think it's kind of a reasonable thing that yeah. someone wants to... You know, they want to go and they want to be, you know, a, like a public figure. That people know because he seems quite anonymous. Do you really want to see him in tight lycra and spandex and sequins? Does that inspire faith? Not, not really. I mean, that sounds. <laughs> you're making that sound incredibly homoerotic. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not really up for that. But, but I, no, I take your point. Yeah, no, I, th I, I don't think it's a bad thing for politicians to kind of to become. No, because they've had such a bad year. They've they've lost all credibility. So they might as well have a little dance in spangles. Well, even while they're actually in government. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, I lost more faith in that guy when he didn't, you know, back the students. I mean, Nick you know, Clegg. Yes. Yeah, Nick Clegg. Then, then someone, someone dancing mm. for an afternoon seems entirely reasonable. It doesn't take that long to film one of those shows. He's turned but isn't up, that done a terrible thing for charity? Isn't that a terrible state of affairs when we're saying, oh, that seems less ridiculous than the other ridiculous thing, and they've not even been in power, what, a year? Mm. Yeah, I think power is really stretching it for the Lib Dems. I'm not sure, <laughs> not sure if they're technically in power. I think they've got some friends that are in power. Yeah. It's like saying, oh, I've got a friend, who will get you. Dave. Yeah. <laughs> Are you, have you got a performance tonight? You're in... Where are I'm you? I'm in Hammersmith um, until oh, Thursday, yeah. That's handy with the weather. What would well, you have is. done? Would well, you... we... I mean, I spend a lot of time... I, mean, I do about 200 shows a year, so we're constantly up and down the motorways and around, and we've been very lucky, touch wood. Mm, there's none. Um, <laughs> For my... <laughs> we've been... We've been... Who's going to do that? What? <laughs> Could have been worse. Um, the, uh, we've been very lucky with... <laughs> 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 But well, thankfully you were here, so that was no danger. Uh, the, um, the, uh, we've been very lucky with the motorways and things, but my heart goes out. You know, people get stuck on the, in the motorways. And the, the airports, this, I mean, it's just... It's all... shocking, isn't it? Well, well we're planning you... on going away. We're planning on, on going on holiday. Um... Out of the country? Yeah. Uh... Oh, no chance. Well, you haven't planned it well, you're, just, you're just planning. You haven't actually planned it yet. You're just oh, no, no, planning. We're, no, no, we've we, you, we you planned. Have you booked? You've got a flight booked. We've booked. But I think what we need is a plan B now. I think yeah. we need to... Mm. I think there's going to be a lot of last-minute shopping. People driving home from the airport <laughs> going right. <laughs> we better stop up in Sainsbury's and pick up some well, stuff. Don't worry, you'd be upset no, no, about that. It what if, if my holiday yeah, gets cancelled because go. of bad weather? Yeah, no, I won't be yeah. upset at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd be quite upset. Yeah, thinking about it, I suppose. Well, you know, some hates like you know, it's a blitz Christmas. She thinks it's really good I'm to that for everyone's. It. You I don't know, mind. I just think you know, having what? to stay at home. Come round. Yeah, but everyone if you get to you, all your, all your mates are local. <laughs> what, are you going to have kind of waifs and strays? Can we go back? Yeah. I know, I imagine don't people will that. have a nice time. Jimmy, I'm up for a street party at this point. I don't care. I've got wellies. I'm going to get on with it. <laughs> I'm not sure what's being proposed. <laughs> <laughs> OK, she's got wellies and she's up for I'm it. I'm waterproof, Good. don't you? This feels more like internet dating than being on a, <laughs> like a chat show. I've got wellies, I'm up for it. <laughs> Jimmy, we know... We oh, know, here we, we go. Know, we said... No, <laughs> We said before. I've lost a stone. We said. <laughs> <laughs> Have you? A gallstone. You you were talking about your weight loss actually last time you were on here, if I remember yeah, rightly. Yeah, I lost I lost a bit of weight. Yeah. Exactly. Loads of weight. So, actually. No, 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 no. How did you get too much? Jimmy? How did you do that? Then? I lost it. Through... Yeah, you started looking a bit gaunt. I stopped <laughs> eating after six in the evening. I thought I don't. Six, eat... sorry. Yeah, after after. <laughs> so, so, do you just eat after eight 
that's how. <laughs> oh, that's it. <laughs> is that it? Nice. No that's exercise. That's literally no. no exercise, nothing. I've just stopped eating at night. Because I was eating very late. I was eating after shows. Mm. That's and if you work Michael nights. Yeah. 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 If you stop so eating, then just have a big Michael lunch. Winner. It's good. Mm. Well, nice to have one thing, yeah. <laughs> so, do you never take your girlfriend out to dinner? Do you, what do you do? Do you just sit there and oh, watch she's her? lucky to have me, frankly. <laughs> <laughs> but do you just sit and watch her eat? What no, it's like, it's like with anything in life. It's the 80-20 thing, isn't it? If you, if you kind of don't eat after six most all of the time, you'll be fine. And then occasionally, if you go out to dinner, then, you know... It's a treat. Yeah, it's a treat. Mm. It's nice. Mm. Um, we said before that there were very few clips that we actually could show on, on lunchtime telly. Of, of the DVD. Of the DVD, yeah. which is very very funny, but very rude. And in some ways, some might, people might say offensive. How do you... Um, I think I don't think it's offensive, but how do you deal with that kind of criticism? Well, when people think it's an offensive show? Yeah. Um, I, I'm pretty relaxed about it, sort of, generally, because I think when people buy... Certainly with DVDs or live shows, I feel literally with a DVD, someone's bought into it, someone's gone into a shop and they've made the decision. Mm. I'm and they gonna know purchase what the content that. is. I like it. It's my sixth DVD. No-one's buying it by accident. Oh, it's got a nice cover, hasn't it? Mm. Very orangey. <laughs> oh, I might get that. <laughs> that might be fun. I imagine it's a bit like Last of the Summer Wine. <laughs> I think people know that it's going to be... And I've got quite a brutal, dark sense of humour, and I'm not ashamed of that. That's my sense of humour. You don't yeah. choose what makes you laugh, it chooses you. So I feel like when people come to live shows, if they're, if they're offended, really, some people just like being offended. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, had a, yeah, I had a woman in Newcastle, it was about last year, a woman come up to me after the show in Newcastle, and she came, she came up after the show at the signing, after the show. I always do a signing, say hello to people mm. after. She said that was, that was disgusting. That was juvenile, puerile, filth. Mm. No better than last year. <laughs> Oh, what am I, what am I what meant to do with that? Yeah. <laughs> OK, I think. I'll sign that for you. Bye. Uh, <laughs> well, well, the DVD is out now in time for Christmas. Is and there it is. Lovely. It's already oh, covered. Lovely yeah. cover. Yeah, a little bit of me. Thanks, thanks for coming in today, Jimmy. I oh, know, I love this show. Do you? It's really fun to come on, yeah. It's, it's oh, great. Thank you. And, oh. and um, well, happy Christmas. I hope you get wherever it is that you're yeah. supposed to be going. But I doubt you will. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Carr, everyone. Thank you very much. Cheers, ladies. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good luck with the skating. <laughs> <laughs> Great time, and stay tuned because Denise takes on Carol in our annual Elf of Competition.